Hello. <laughs> hello. 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 I, I'm going to try uh, not to laugh so hard. Um, <laughs> how y'all doing? Look, um, first of all, let me start by saying this. Um, hey, Mousy, how you doing, girl? Mousy, you stay on here, too, because we, we, we share an ex. Oh, did I just put our business out there? Girl. Um, first of all, I purposely did not do the part two to the molestation thing. Um, I'll do it in a couple of weeks or a month or two, maybe. I had I was so exhausted from that. I was drained, and I had to deal with me. I had to deal with some crazy stuff that I didn't. I thought it was over. So I wanted to have fun today. I did not want to do the deep, morbid ugh, therapy needing stuff. Well, some of us still are going to need therapy after this, but uh, we're here to have some fun. We're going to really have some fun. And believe it or not, you know how like, children learn through play? We're going to evolve into better people through play. We, we, we're going to have some fun with this. Now, we gonna be respectful we're not wishing nobody dead or anything like that so y'all don't text me don't email me don't dm me say less why are you wishing people dead it's not that serious you know but the question for today is oh i didn't speak to everybody hey kevin Krishan. hey q you better stay on here child because this is gonna be up your alley and um i didn't get to speak to everybody really really quickly hey it went up. I see, I see Lewis. I see Kevin. I see Daryl. I see Otis and Quashan. Hey, guys. The question for today is, if your ex, be it a male or a female, dog or cat, I don't know what people do. <laughs> if your ex was on fire, I mean fire, and you sit there with several buckets of water, would you put them out? Now, some of us have more exes than others, so you can just like, you know, just think about it. <laughs> and I'm asking this question because you guys may not know it, but a lot of people send questions and topics in to me because they want to discuss it. They're too shy to talk about themselves. So they're like, Les, can you discuss this? Yo, Les, can you see that? And you're like, okay, I don't care. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> so, and this question actually was posed to me. Because the pay hey, general, <laughs> Susie, oh my gosh. So neither, how y'all doing? Hey, Gary. Um, Gary is saying, hey, Nettie. Gary is saying yes. Oh, he's so awesome. Gary, how you doing? Oh, and by the way, you guys put really quickly where you're talking to me from. Whether, because I know, I don't know if Barry G's on here yet. But Barry be talking to us from the UK. Um, and Samson you, is from Ghana. I don't think he's on here um, today, but just g tell me where you at, you know, give your hometown or your current town a shout out. Yes, rap, rap. But we're here to have fun. Hey, Lemuel, how you doing? You know, um, they said less. We were talking about some things, you know, and he's like, less, because they, they know most of my exes. I mean, from childhood on. Now, it's not fair for like the high school. I'll just say middle school. Elementary on down is not fair game. But middle school and high school on up is fair game, people. And so the question is, would you put your ex out if they're on fire and why or why not? So let's get it popping. All right. Oh, this is from Las Vegas. Gary's from Sumter, South Carolina. Uh, Mouse is a new for news. So hi, Elena. So um, one of you said, yes, you would put your ex out. <laughs> hey, Dorothy. Uh, who said that? Was it Gary? Gary, did you say that? Okay, Gary, why did you say you would put your ex out? You know, because there's some other things we need to discuss about these exes as well. It could be an ex, boyfriend or girlfriend, ex fiance or ex spouse. Yes. So Gary is saying yes. Is everybody say, Susie's from Chester, Virginia. Um, so is everybody, I'm going to tell you guys. I feel kind of bad. Gary got me feeling bad because when the person asked me the question, they said a specific name. And I hesitated. <laughs> I hesitated. 
But what had happened was, whenever a black person say what had happened was, they about to lie. No, but seriously. They, they said, Les, would you put so-and-so out if he was on fire? And it came out of nowhere, so I, I guess I, they got my raw, real reaction. Then I felt bad because I reacted that way. I was like, well, yeah, uh, yeah I don't know about on fire, you know. Uh, <laughs> hilarious. I mean, you know, I, I, I would say this in all seriousness. Hold on, hold on. Susie said the first one, H, no. Let him burn. <laughs> Susie, see, that's why I didn't get you on the phone, Susie, because you're reckless. Hey, Kevin. Hey, Michael. Quashan said, well, I would because she's a human being. Aw. And I have a heart, so yeah, I would help. Q, you are so awesome. <laughs> Susie said he can put his own A out. Well, you know what? Let, let me say this. Let me say this, guys. I will, too, because, you know, you don't want nobody suffering and burning or anything like that. And yeah, and, and to be honest, some of them might w won't want us to blow up in flames. So let's just keep it real. Some of us ain't perfect either, you know. But I, I, I'm with you, Q. And I think Gary said, "What did Gary said? Yes, you guys are going so fast. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on." <laughs> Gary said he wouldn't just sit there like this and just wait. No, 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 no. Um, Gary and Q making a, the ladies come on, dear ladies. We looking bad out here because the men are saying they will put their exes out and all y'all tell them let them burn. What? Come on, ladies, have a heart. Look who's talking, right? Hold on, hold on. Do we got one lady in the house, a Joel, that will put their ex out? I, I, with what though? Water, gasoline. No, just kidding. But um, I, I would. You know, the, the, now I know we all, look, <laughs> I'm stuttering because I need therapy, y'all. I'm trying to get it right, too. I'm trying to get it right, too. It depends on, I will put them all out. Hey, Crape and Robert. Yeah, I would. Yeah, I would. Yeah, I would. But. All of them, I would. Yeah. Well, okay, yeah, I would. But, okay, since everybody's so angelic, well, let me ask you this. Would you loan your ex money? Would you always keep, you know, coming to your ex's rescue? How about that, Gary and Q and all you other do-gooders? Because I'm a heathen on the day. <laughs> me and Susie, we heathens, you know. I mean, would y'all loan them money? And or who is calling? Somebody's calling. And when you're restricted, you get rejected. I don't know who you are. So if you call him on the uh you let me know if that's you calling me on here because I, I don't have your number in there. But um, and also all right, Gary is saying, <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Gary is saying, would you if someone you really loved cheated on you? Ooh. See, that's where we're coming from, Gary, because we're thinking about the things that were done for us. That's why me and Sue, well, Susan's saying H, no. And, but that's why I was headed, hesitant. If they beat you, cheated on you, did all kinds, stole from you, would you put them out? Krishana says yes. And Devin is saying, I would not just, I would not just because it's my job. <laughs> the firemen can't answer. I would look bad if I didn't put them on because she was a mother. <laughs> Yeah, you got to put your, your child's mother out, Devin, and you are a fireman, so that, that kind of looks bad. But, you know, th but that goes to, see, we're laughing about it, but it depends on what was done to you. Why did they become your ex in the first place? And it's, no, I'm wrong. I'm wrong, y'all. I'm wrong. E even if they cheated, so, well, I don't know, but well, they touched my child in an inappropriate way, I would have to set them on fire. You know, whoever you go to church, just pray for a sister because that's, no, we're not having pedophilia, you know, but if he did something like that, I'll have to light the match, you know, and, you know, throw some gasoline drawers on them and just, just, but anyway, but something not, 
is bad. I guess I would put him out. Well, you know, I, you know, <laughs> I have a question for you guys. Since everybody trying to be so whatever. Do, do you think it's okay to have an ex with benefits? And if don't nobody know what I'm talking about with benefits, shout me out out here so I can explain it to you. Benefits. I mean, benefits. <laughs> um, that, that was posed to me several times. I'm like, get out of here. Whatever. And the question was like, well, everything else was bad in a relationship except that. And that they, um, that they missed that. And that he could uh, like put it down or whatever your hobby, all young people say it these days. So my question to the panel, to my audience babies is, let me see what y'all say. Hold on, hold on, oh, I'm missing everybody. Hold on, hold on. Okay, hold on, I'm, I'm scrolling up guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, now that I, so Kushan is saying he wouldn't give, give him no money. Uh, Devin is saying the same thing. Hey, Nadine, how you doing? Nettie is saying, I would be here for my son's father since we share our kids together. He cheated and hurt me, but I'm always going to be here since I know he would be there for me, be here for me. Oh, Nettie, you are just so awesome. You're such a better person than I am. Yeah. <laughs> You know, oh Gary, you asking me would I would I what would you what 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 are you asking me? Okay. You guys are going so fast. I'm trying to read it. All right, Gary said I've had many do me wrong, but I forgave them. Okay, hey Corey, how you doing? And <laughs> you guys are going so fast. Okay, 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 okay. Koshana says, um, well, my ex cheated and I found out, but kind of let it slide a little because I had already given her my heart. But afterwards, down the line, she just kept up her bad habits. I had to let her go. Oh, my goodness. I'm sorry, Q. Are you messed up for the next chick? Is that what's happening, too? Yeah, Susie, uh, Susie's saying that, that you're a good woman. You're a better woman than me and Susie. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Um, oh, oh, Gary, that's me when I put the fire out. It depends on which one. I don't know. I, I, I'll put them out, but I, I, no, I hand them the water. I'll hand them the water. Uh, <laughs> the Craven said, look, we are talking about putting someone out who is on fire. And now we're talking about just setting, setting yourself on fire if you <laughs> want them to be. <laughs> Y'all are hilarious. Okay. Yeah. All jokes aside, guys, I know we all have to forgive them. So, you know, you forgave them and left them. You know, we did. But, you know, of course you don't want to see anybody dying. Dying. No, we don't want to see anybody dying or in pain or whatever else. So I would give him water. Um, and then, you know, it, and it's such a loaded question, really, if you think about it. Um, would you see your ex hungry? You know, would you share your food with them? Would you see them thirsty? You know, we know what the Bible says. Yeah, I, I need help. I, you know, I, I need help. <laughs> and now, now uh, this is such a loaded question. Um, I, I, y'all help me out. Yeah, I would, Gary. I, you know, I would put him out. I would. Uh, all jokes aside. I would just because he's a human being. And I would want somebody to put my butt out. <laughs> but I wouldn't, I wouldn't hurt people like some of these people are hurt folk just for general purpose, just for GP. You know what I'm saying? Um, but that that same one who's given me the most problems had the audacity to go, yo, I know we we divorced and everything, but you know, can I slide in? When you had me, you were sliding out. Get out of here. Are you serious? So, I mean, a lot of questions was asked of to me, of me or whatever. 
presented to me, you know, where I put them on fire, where I loan them money or give them food or drink if they was hungry or thirsty, or when I let them hit it every now and then at X with benefits. So I brought it to y'all to see, like, am I just that jacked up <laughs> that I would go, I probably wait about a couple seconds. And then I would like take them the water and sit it by. Hey, yo, better get that, get that water. No, just kidding. Uh, <laughs> but um, Susie's saying, okay, my ex. Oh, Susie, see what? My ex killed himself. Am I sad? No. Am I sad he killed the new girlfriend? Ooh. Okay, Susie, go get some water. Just uh, <laughs> forgive, never forget. They need to just keep on moving says Devin, keep it moving. Yeah, you know, I, I just don't understand. And I've had stuff said to me like, D girl, you look better now than when I had you. I might've did right. See, 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 I, I couldn't look better then because you were not buying me anything, not allowing me to work anywhere, not doing anything that I could make myself look better in. So of course, I look like a an abused clump of nothing because of what you were doing. So now that I'm rid of you, of course I could be the best me that I can be. And no, you can't be slithering, literally slithering back in there. Don't mind know where you've been or what you got. Get out of here. No, no, it, it, it's just too much, you know. And Claudine, hey Claudine, how you doing? You know, it's it it really is a loaded question because um. You know, I have known of people who are divorced or have been uh, broken up for a while or whatever else who allowed uh, that ex to come in and, you know, blow it out, whatever y'all say, you know, the horizontal polka or whatever you're doing. And um, I, I, I just, I just, I, I just, I just, I just can't, I die. I, I, I can't. You you couldn't get it. Bonjour, sweetie. How you doing? Um, I oh, Claudia, what part of France are you from? Put where you are right now in the inbox. Okay, Devin is saying who is crepe myrtle. Devin is saying um, it's the eighty twenty rule. All right, Tyler Perry. All they wanted was the twenty percent that was not at home. Amid and now they see they lost a good eighty. Boy, I'm telling you, you need to go audition. Okay. You got these comments are hilarious. You guys need to read them. I'm trying to get everybody in, but it's going so fast, you know. But um, yeah, and, and it's crazy. It's crazy. And what but what makes it really difficult is when you are, I can't say co-parenting because I've never co-parented, they just jetted <laughs> left. So, but when you share a child with an ex, it makes it very hard, you know, because, and see, I was fortunate. My left didn't want nothing to do with the kids, and <laughs> so I was fortunate. But other people I see going through some crazy stuff with this co-parenting stuff, and, I, and I've had men to tell me and men to tell women I know, you always be mine. I could always hit it. You mine. I taught you how to do this, and I taught you how to do that, and it won't for me, blah, 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 blah. You got people saying that to folks, man. And I'm pretty sure women say it to men, too. This is an equal opportunity bashing situation here. <laughs> I mean, you have people really think if they, especially if they was married to you before, or common law, or been with you like 14 years or whatever, that they can come and get it whenever they feel like they come and get it. You belong to them. That's yours. Blah, blah, blah. You know, hey, Marlon. Hey, James. How you doing? You know, Q is saying, exactly. That's why I let my ex go because STDs is a mother and I don't want to catch anything. I'm clean and I would want the woman I'm with to be clean. Yeah, man. Uh, that's deep and that's so, so true. I mean, uh, they they were exes for a reason. And I I guess, yeah, you know, you can be reflecting on the good times you guys may have had here and there in between in between the affairs and the cheating and mishandling of money and 
I don't know, whatever made you get separated, divorced, uh, let go in the first place, you know, there is some good times in between this, but you need to weigh the pros and the cons. I wouldn't be letting nobody come in to hit it. If you wanted to hit it, you would have kept it. You know, and I've had people say, well, it got boring. Wow. Really? You know, when people say the, the sex in the relationship has gotten boring, that's a reflection on who's ever saying it. Because if it was that boring, you would have taken some initiative to make it exciting again. You wouldn't be taking the initiative so it could be hot again. I, women and men have said it. Don't trip. You know, women just as crazy as the men are. James says, yeah, I'd have to put the fire out. Call EMS. <laughs> you, you know, right? He, you still burn to me, James. You are still better than me because I wouldn't have called EMS. I would have sat the bucket beside him and just left. Here's your water. Here's your water now. I mean, it's just, it's deep, y'all, because some of these people have left physical, mental, and emotional scars, you know, and now they're on fire. Or they're, they're, you know, and fire is just like like a metaphor I'm using. Like, you know, it could be anything. They could be, I don't know, homeless, shot, whatever's going on. But they're doing bad now. Would you lend a helping hand? You know, would you reach back and lend a helping hand? Hey, Paris. Hey, Jerome. How y'all doing? You know, I, I've always told you guys, since I started this shenanigans of a less the experience thing, that I need therapy. And one of the main reasons I'm doing this is like, since I can't afford therapy, I might as well get some therapy from all of y'all. We can get therapy together. Therapy together. <laughs> you know, and so, you know, I, I have a lot of growing mm, that I need to do. Yeah. I don't wish death on anyone. That's just horrible. I'm not that bad. I'm not Susie. <laughs> I, I don't wish death on anyone, but a uh, um, I don't know, Chad. I, I just, I, I, I'm just, I'm just, I feel so bad. I feel like, a sh you know, I feel bad. Cause y'all, I mean, the guys got better answers than us. Ladies, what's wrong with us? Why, why, why are we letting people burn or lose their car or their house? Well, I'll let them lose their car and their house now. I ain't backing up all of that. I'm not lending you no more money. You done stole from me and robbed enough bank accounts when you left. No, if you're losing your house, let your hoe. Oh, I'm sorry. Let the current female you're dealing with help you get your house or your car back and blah, blah, blah. Nah, no. Nah. I, I draw the line. I draw the line at lending money and saving materialistic things, especially when you help me get nothing. It, mm -mm. But <laughs> Devin is saying, but if they were hit by a car, I wouldn't lose any sleep. No. Oh, y'all are hilarious. And James got the thinking emoji. Like, hmm. Um, <laughs> you might be right. You have to be better than them. The bigger person, no pun intended. Hey, Keith. Hey, Jack. See, James, look, James, get off of here, James. Get, get off of here. I'm, no, don't go to where James. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. See, but why are you coming in there like, uh, oh, why? Why? Just. All right, James. Okay. Be the bigger person. How, James? How about we going to put James in the hot seat? Susie, you and I are going to put James in the hot seat. How I got to be the bigger per better person, James? They'll be coming on here making people feel bad. Mm. How, James? How? <laughs> oh, you, you quiet, James, or you typing? Mm hmm. What he done to me already done to him. <laughs> Let me stop. No. I, I, you know, believe it or not, it may not look that way. But I'm not bitter. Uh, I'm not bitter. I'm not mad as. I'm not any of that. I'm just like, mm, I finally got rid of him. And you asking me to put your fire of life out? Mm, no, you didn't care when you was, you, see, that's, you know, that's a whole other show. But, you know, people, people don't care when they're doing stuff to you. And karma's a what? Karma's a, 
Some people believe in karma. Some people believe you reap what you sow. But whatever, every action has a reaction. Every thing has a consequence, you know, however you want to say it. <laughs> Bye, Gary. Gary says, I'm nice chatting with you, Miss. <laughs> That's why beautiful. I, oh, you are so sweet, Gary. You must be tired. Angela, Angela's on here. Angela, would you, Angela, would you put your ex out if he was on fire? No, just kidding. Well, well, you wasn't here for that, but we don't literally mean, well, yeah. Ah. <laughs> Mousy said, took the words right out of my mouth. Karma's a what? Yes. You know, I, I just, I, I'm sorry, y'all. I, I just, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't mentally abuse me, emotionally abuse me, physically abuse me. You've cheated. You've publicly humiliated me. You've taken money. You've mistreated the church. You've done all these things. And now that you know, you finally got rid of me because those actions say, hey, I don't want to be with you. Actions speak louder than words. So I done moved on. You done moved on. I'm trying to get my glow up on. You acting crazy, reaping everything you deserve. And now you calling me for a meal. Water for a fire put out. <laughs> I mean, save your house. Where are you women at, man? Oh, in the man's case, where all you where all your men at? Like if you got a cheating woman, y'all, because I'm trying to keep it fair. But, but where they at? Where they at? Huh? Where they at? Don't call me. You know, and I'm waiting for a pastor to get up on here and, and bash me real good. You know, you gotta forgive 70 times seven. You gotta do this less less. You know, I know. Oh, how I feel is how I feel. I'll get it together. Hopefully before Jesus comes. <laughs> <laughs> well, y'all, come on. Uh, and that person asked me that question, you know, then he made me feel bad because I, I hesitated. I was like, hmm, what I put that Negro out? I, I've been battling with that thing for days. Like, what I put him out? Kanye! I'm all like, why am I hollering? I'm like, Tasha K, hold on across the place, but... Connie just popped up here. Connie Robertson, look at it over there, child. And she knows everything that I have gone through. So I'm going to ask Connie, Connie, if who we both know was on fire, should I put him out? I can't wait. I don't know if she didn't get saved and sanctified in Georgia. I don't know what she might come up. She might fool me and come up with a good answer, the right answer. But, uh, uh uh, I don't know. <laughs> okay, James. Well, James, James got a paragraph. I know he's laying me out. Okay, James is saying it's not about how you feel, it's about what's right to do based on your good morals. It's not about them, it's about you continuing to be the wonderful person you are. I say this because that's how my ex wife was. I'm at peace. I don't need to move out if the great out of the great place that I'm in. At I'm in in my life. And Jack is saying the brave and self-aware just say no. Keith is saying no way. <laughs> I like Keith. <laughs> I love you, Connie. I mean, you have always been my road dog. Connie is saying. Oh no. <laughs> and Craig Burner said it might not be right to put them out. Would life or the world be better without them though? I say yes. I, I say yes. And Angela finally speaks. She said, What's the question? Really, Angela? I'm actually looking at, at this while I'm at the gas pump. Because <laughs> you don't you blow up messing with that gas and that cell phone. I was asking Angela if your ex was on fire, any of either one of them or all of them, would you put them out? Hi, Mario, or help them if they were hungry or doing bad or reaping because of what they've done to you. 
you know, and then the other questions was really loaded question. Would you let your ex come back and hit it whenever you feel like it? Cause you used to him and blah, 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 because you feel like he owns you. You always be his blah, blah. And same with the females. Connie is saying, let him burn. <laughs> oh, Connie said, let him burn for about six minutes, then put him out. <laughs> You guys are hilarious. Uh, you know what? Y'all gonna have to continue the questions because I mean the, the conversation because everybody's saying, you know, I'm going, I'm always going over my 30 minutes. But Jack is saying put them outside of the dog they are. And Jeff is saying yes. Well, James and Krishan and Gary have all made me feel really, really bad. Um, hey Morris, how you doing? You know, I'm going to go work on that, y'all. I'm going to work on me. I'm going to work on me. And uh, y'all, really? Y'all wouldn't let y'all? Uh... Okay, I tell you what. I'll give him some water. Yes. If he was thirsty and if he was hungry, he can ask his, the girlfriends he cheated with. And I'll I, I put, I put, I put him out, like kind of said, in six minutes. Can somebody die in six minutes? Well, I I'll give him some more to put him out of his own fire. But really, y'all, yeah. I, who, you're right, because somebody might want to blow me up. I might be somebody that they want to burn. So I don't know. <laughs> I've never, to my knowledge, done anything to anybody. Okay. Now, here come crepe murder with the law. The law states you need only call for help and nothing more. Oh, Okay. Crate Myrtle, a.k.a. Devin, is a fireman and an EMT, and he says, I'm only obligated to call for help. I love you, Devin. That's one of my chorus babies. I used to teach the chorus, and he was my I love which James is back. Oh, thank you, James. Gosh, something. He says, no hitting it again, though. Go get your water from another well. <laughs> yes. Gosh, I thought you were going to make me put him out, James. Let him hit it. Give him my money. Give him food. Give him some water. Come on, man. Whatever, whatever. Jack is saying, give him a sandwich at the door with a Diet Coke. <laughs> um, I got to keep my Diet Cokes. No, I give him some water and a sandwich. Y'all, keep the conversation popping. I am just, I'm just, I'm having, I'm, I'm having a ball. <laughs> you know, I, oh, Angela said he better stop driving. <laughs> Oh my God! Angela is saying he better stop, drop, and roll. So between Devin and Angela and Connie and Susie, I'm feeling okay. I'm, I know I'm wrong though, y'all, but still, I'm I'm doing okay. <laughs> Whatever, I put him out. Gosh, James, you're fired. You can't come on here no more and play with us. No, no more. James Person, not the one from Newport News, the one from New York. You in New York, right, James? Wherever you are, he can't play with us anymore because he all righteous and vegan and healthy and mm, whatever. I'm with you, Angela. Let the stop, drop, and roll. Yes, throwing some instructions. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. No, 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 I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. All right, I got to go. I got to go. I got to go. It's 431. Thank you guys so much for chiming in and being a nut job with me. I know I need therapy and everybody got me straight. Yes. Oh, whatever. <laughs> I love you guys and keep the conversations going. Yeah, you know, let's talk.